Hello, welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. I'm Sue. Um, we hope you're going to enjoy this. This is our part two of our virtual motorhome show as we're not able to go and look at them. So it's just a nice way of looking back on them. So these are my favourite um, ones that I've enjoyed looking at. My first choice is from the um, Caravan and Motorhome show in, at the NEC in October 2019 and it's called the Danbury. Right, what well, are you spotted then Sue? Danbury. Danbury? Oh, that feels nice. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a Warwick XL going on here, haven't we? Yeah. 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 Lovely big bunks you can sleep on without making a double bed up. And what have we got here? Yeah, lockers are okay. Yeah, okay, isn't it? Yeah, wardrobe. What's the washroom like? A separate shower. A separate shower? So it's a Warwick XL, isn't it? Yeah, similar. Similar style. Yeah. Opening windows, so down here. Which is good. See, like. Yeah. Choose for the chairs up. And. Yep, three burner grill, nice little um, rack nice rack little here. Sink. Little sink, yep. What's the, what's the uh, under here? We've got a fridge. There you go. Combi oven. It's rather good. Storage underneath. Uh, combination oven and storage underneath for your pots and pans. And Sucking then another one there. It's getting a bit dark in here, folks. But you get the idea. Oh, bottle rack. That's handy. Mm. Yeah. So you can only have three bottles of wine. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Right, what we got Washroom in here? Size. Sliding door, that's a separate good shower. feature. That's a winner. A yeah, separate shower. That is really generous. Sir. And there's adequate yeah. space to. Yeah, little pop up uh, ventilation in the top. A little cupboard there. And Storage a window and as well. Under the sink. Yeah. That's nice. Does that pass the face test though? Yes, I think I've got yeah, my you, face you've got your there. chin in that one? Yeah, I lovely. Tried. Okay. And then what are we on? A Fiat Ducato. Um, both of these swivel here. They don't okay. have a Warwick Excel, do they? No. That one swivels no, okay. as well. Okay. And there's still storage up here as well. And you've got Peter Blinds. Peter Blinds all round. Yep. Let's we'll see what they're asking. What we'll see. Uh, oh, a little yeah. bit of storage. Yep. So what's the asking price for this little chap? Some more storage out here, Sue. A gas bottle box. Gas bottle. Yeah, excellent idea to put that and there. You have a and you got a fly screen. That's a winner too, yeah, that is a winner. Yeah. You don't get that on, on a lot of them. You don't. No. No. Okay. Nice and light above. Nice colour van. It's a nice metallic slate grey colour. It's called the uh, Danbury. Have a look. 63LG. They don't indicate how much we've got to pay for him. We'll see if we can find out. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. So we're looking at 55,000 for that one. Yeah, well, you think what you get for that? Not bad. So you, you get, get a lot. That Warwick XL, yeah, quite a lot of your money, don't you? Yeah. But you don't get a sun canopy. There's no sun canopy. No. Yeah. Or um, one or two other features yeah. we'd have to check, wouldn't we? <laughs> Certainly, I like the. Uh, That's nice. I like it. We're just having a little look at this one here, little Danbury. Very popular van. Everybody's crawling all over it. Um, and uh, it's a VW camper. And uh, and I just said to Sue, "What do you think?" Then I I said, well, "We could use it instead of a car during the week." You see, and. You wouldn't need to have a car, you could have the van, you know, use it as your day mm -hmm. day vehicle. Yeah, and then go camping at weekends. What do you think of that then? <laughs> oh, that's a big cramped with the dogs as well. It's us a no then really, but I mean they're, they're so popular they're these days, aren't they? Day, but just... No. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Ooh, wow. So? Yeah. It's a bit too big, that one. <laughs> That's a bit too big, is it? Yeah. All right. I, I can't please you today, can I? No. no. Too small, too big. 
and in another haul in October 2019 at the NEC we went to the hobbies. Our, our good friends Nick and Carol have a hobby and we thought that they'd really like the one that I particularly liked. I'm going to have a quick look around a hobby. Yeah, have a look at this layout here with a bed in the back. Yeah, nice. I love the uh, shiny locker, Sue. Yeah. You've got lovely. these little shelves underneath. Are they nicely made? Yeah, beautifully made, and aren't they? This big little sink, look. Yeah. Two burner hob. Yeah. And lots of lockers down here. Shiny. My word. Yeah. That's, oh, that's a, quite a deep cupboard. You could get quite a lot in there. Yeah. Couldn't you? And, uh, a washroom. Oh, lovely shiny door. Everything's shiny white. That's quite. A, that's a good idea. You've got a nice deep tray to stand. Yeah, there in. is a nice deep tray, isn't there? You've got mm. a curtain, but yeah. Well, I like all the the chrome. Yeah, it's a very nice bits. washroom. Chrome really good. Box there. Um, what integrated. Uh, it looks like that that wooden board goes across when you're just standing on it. Also yeah. Normally, yeah. doesn't it? So you can stand on that. You've got stuff. Yeah, you don't have to walk in the shower in. tray. You've got the board that that fits in, it's slots in. It's really nice. Push up roof. Yeah, pop up roof and the bed is across the back of the van. Then, yeah. Yeah, and you've got these hooks that pull out. Yeah, it's one there. It's quite, it's quite nice. There's no window in that other side yeah, there, is there? No. Yeah, I think this is a. No, two windows. Two windows in the back, in the back. and the one at the, the top of the and bed the one here. There. Yeah. And cool. Okay, yep. Really um, nice. And this is on a field, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Fiat Ducato, so it'll be available in automatic. This comes down, you can get under there. Yep. It's blown air, but it looks a bit in there. Oh, rather plush in here. Uh, Fiat Ducato again. Nice looking lounge, Sue. And the table. Ooh, yeah. the swing out bit Makes you want to touch it. <laughs> so you can swing it round. Yeah, I like the, uh, the blinds and the curtains. The colour's nice, so uh, shiny. Yeah, everything seems to be shiny. Look at this. It's really nice. Uh, window above the cab. Uh, really shiny interior, isn't it? Even the walls here look all oh, shiny, shiny. Shiny. Shiny, shiny. Uh, oh, a little towel, a little pull out towel rail there, cord. Uh, yeah, and the door that slides round the, for the shower. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, and the bed in. Oh, we've, we've got twin beds in the back of this one. Yeah. Quite like that idea. And this lifts up. You can make it into you can make it into a double, bed. yeah. Double bed, and then you've got yeah. storage underneath. Well, that would suit us, wouldn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. storage um, underneath there. Little cupboard above the uh, fridge freezer. Hang on, mail this side. Jeff. Fridge freezer. This is one of these slimline fridge freezers with the blue light in, and uh, lots of storage under there with a rail. Yep. Yeah. Is it the same that side? Uh, no, that, that one's got a rail. So it's a quite, a big, quite a big door on that one. I don't think this one... That one hasn't got a rail in no it. No rail in it, but lots of storage. I've got you. Yep. Okay, there's shelves in there. And a light. And storage under here, look. And storage in the steps. And that's shiny inside that as well. Is it really? And in there, look. Oh, that's some... Um, yeah. It's got the blown air. You've got the uh, ducting nice in there in for the warm air. Do we look at the kitchen? Yeah, little sink. Little sink. And then three burner yeah, hob, yeah. Little oven here. Little uh, oven in the bottom. And then you've got which your is drawers. typical of the hobby um, range and that over the years. An extractor fan, uh, look. 
Yeah, Above. little extractor fan. And quite a nice little cupboard arrangement in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. And this one has so even got a wind up. Yep, wind up roof light there. All the um, controls over the door are standard. And storage under here, traveller. Storage under there too. I can't open it for the storage. Yeah. Okay, and a nice door bin. That's a nice looking van, isn't it? Even yeah. from the outside, that looks yeah. look the really nice. There's your gas box. Um, room for two gas bottles in there. And a garage. Good size garage, isn't it? Yeah. And I'll try and get a shot from over here so you can see what it looks like. And there it is. Lovely looking motorhome, that one. Yeah, um, 71626 and uh, three and a half ton and the length of that one is just a touch over seven meters. Very nice. Rear view camera. Nice fan. Another hobby. This one's the Opti De Optima Deluxe T65HFL. And uh, are we stepping into the life of luxury now? Different, different upholstery in this one. Not quite so shiny. You've got wood grain. Lots of wood grain in here. Uh, big lounge, isn't there? So you've got two good sized seats here. Seven, couldn't you? Two good sized seats here. And two the two swivel seats. And above you is a drop down bed. Um, Again, the yep. height slightly the higher else, this it? time. Um, drop down bed as well for another berth. Nice L-shaped kitchen. There it is. L-shaped kitchen, yeah. Shiny. Very nice, isn't it? Shiny. It is nice. This is a nice motorhome, so. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. You've got a little oven. Uh, the little oven, little yeah. Little Quite a bit yep. storage, storage there, yeah. And then you've got the slim line, super slim fridge. Super slim fridge, which is the one like the van we just inside. looked at just now. TV. Same here. And cupboard above. The same arrangement with the cupboards over the kitchen, yeah. Sliding door there. And a French bed. Now there's not a big cut off on that bed, is there? No. Like some of them. A curtis or a privacy oh, curtain to pull Nick across. And Carol, like this, we've got a separate shower. Separate this is, shower. This is, this is for Nick and Carol. Yeah, and Nick will say, "I'll wait for it to be five and years old." And you've got old. a little pull-out, a little pull-out. Um, nice separate shower. Hanger. Two plug holes. Yes. Yeah. And nice basin. I like this little uh, vanity cupboard. unit. It's really cute. nice, isn't it? In the corner it's a there. Cute little cupboard, isn't it? It is, yeah. Good design. Storage underneath it as well. Certainly good so. design. And uh, cupboards all round the top of the bed. And this slides round, doesn't it? And hanging space. Yeah. It's like, like it? Yeah, I do. I think it's really nice. Yeah. And outside the van, you do get the canopy. Bed. You see, quite like, a tall van. The bed wasn't that high up, and you've got all this storage underneath. Yeah, with a French bed with a garage, which is unusual. Um, big garage space under there. And there's the spec for it. And this time we're going in the Optima Premium T70E. Another shiny one. Another shiny one, Sue like says. She likes this one as well. Oh, that's, well we've got, I've already got half a dozen motorhomes on my driveway. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I, I love this one. Uh, isn't it? I mean, it's just, it just. It reminds me when we went in the Leica earlier. Yeah. Um, it's got that I want one thing about it. Um, nice look at this. Italian. I mean, it's just, it's nice. just delicious, isn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't mind standing in that kitchen. It's shiny, everything's. Isn't it? And then you've got the mm. sink again. Yeah. And then the 
three burner halves. Three burner halves, yeah. Extract the fan. I'm turning into a parrot again. A little slide. Like these little shelves. They're yeah, really lovely. Handy. Little bit of oven again. The same. Yeah. Even that's very shiny. Like a yeah. mirror. And I'm walking backwards into the bedroom here. Got two uh, single beds. Got back against the wall now, and uh, <laughs> nice. and uh, twin beds. Twin beds. Let me come down that end and uh, have a look at these twin beds. Yeah. Washroom. Okay. So so washroom is across the back of the van, is it so? Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Wardrobes. Um, so we've got more storage space and storage in there. In there. Yeah. And uh, Lou? Oh, this, this must slide or pop open. Yeah. Mustn't They're slideys, aren't they? Yeah. I'm not going to try. No. There's okay. Storage under and there. then a separate shower. That's a good storage size shower. There. It's a good size shower. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's separate. You've got your storage underneath. Which is storage nice. under there. Even the shelves are shiny. Lovely van. Is it, is Another it? one on the list? Yeah, yeah. it's lovely. And the outside of the van, you've got a little under bed garage here, which is, uh, as you saw, the, the twin beds, um, canopy, and a nice wide door. That's a nice wide door. And uh, does, and that's on a, on a Fiat Ducato again, so it should be available in an automatic alloy wheels. Very, very nice looking van. Well, we were lucky enough to go to the Bailey Autograph launch in June 2019, and I particularly liked the the um, 69.2 model. Okay, it's time to take a closer look now at the Autograph. We're going to go inside the 69.2, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's an end lounge motorhome. See so if we can squeeze past Joe. No, this oh. is sold. I recognise uh, <laughs> two ladies. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely <laughs> making positive Ooh. sounds, are we? That's great. Yeah. That's nice. That's yeah. Oh, there's lots of who's and ours. That's great. I like the cab. Oh, looking through the cab here while the girls look in the washroom. That's really nice. Mm. Look, Hickey. Yeah. I'm going to listen in to what they're saying. There's a little hanging rail in there as well to put your towel in. Look. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's a good idea. That's really yeah, nice. It's got two black holes in yeah, there. you've got a little pull switch. Very Take it home nice. and a couple of hooks. They're nice, aren't they? Mm. I like the spash. And the little bells. shelves, look. Yep. And they've got plenty of um, space underneath again. Oh, very nice. And a little radiator from the Aldi heating system. Big shower. Okay, have to have one then. I really like it. That's a really nice layout. Is a fit in there a treat? Just inside the door. Look, you can just shove them in there. Excellent. You like that, don't you? I do. What do you make of that then, Sheila? Nice kitchen. Oh, yeah. 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 Stainless so steel base and yeah, we'll sink. Yeah. Yeah. So it does fit to make the drain. Yep. Really nice. And when you can sleep on the sunny day, then you can make up a bed every day. So we've got a so we've got a table there, have we, Sue? So yeah, you've got a separate area here. Look, look. this is where you can this is where you can do your video so that I can go to bed. Ah, oh, like we do now. Because I'm the night owl, aren't I? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, lots okay. of storage in here. Keys and stuff. It is and really here. quite nice, as you say. There's a little well, workspace quite there, open isn't there? Here, doesn't it? Considering yeah. so, your keys. Yeah, you got, you got your, you put your mobile phones in there. Look. Your bits up there. Oh, that's useful. Yep. Yeah. And you could put all your camera equipment in here. Look. 
Where? Where's yours? There's another Is locker down there. There's another locker down there. Okay. You put all your cameras in there, look. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, excellent. And your folders. There's a cupboard here, isn't there? So there's a wardrobe above. Okay, there's plenty of hanging space there, isn't there? Yeah. Lots of hanging space in there. And I like this little shelf too, as you say, it lends itself to uh, a little workspace there, doesn't it? Very good. This, yeah. this has got a proper work top that goes over the top of the glass bit. Yeah. So they've made that into a work top. Excellent. Instead of just a glass surface yeah. you can't really use. We like that, don't we? And you've got a lift up flap at the end to extend the work workspace that end as well. Look. Yeah. And I like the drawers. Oh, I haven't looked at the drawers. Right. Oh, that's deep, isn't it? Yeah. There's Lovely three of those, drawer. look. Yeah. I like the clasp on them as yeah. well. Yeah. Nice. look quite just to uh, classy, prove a, prove yeah. that there is three of them. Yeah. Look at the nice splash mats. And the one at the bottom. Russell Lovely Hobbs again. Russell Hob Russell Hobbs microwave. And then you've got storage at the bottom for your saucepans. Okay. And there's I like the big fridge. And this is one of those um, slimline ones, isn't it? Still good size. There's plenty of room in there, isn't there, for two people to travel? Excellent. What's in the cupboard at the top? Another nice storage cupboard. Yeah. For your light coffee things. maker. Do you lightweight things or yeah. your coffee maker? Coffee maker and a kettle, I reckon, a in kettle. there, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And then you've got this is interesting. At the nice, yeah, uh, nice for hanging your coats on. Mirror and uh, hanging. Right. Oops. Um, and the storage under here as well, look. For Quite a lot of storage underneath under the there fridge. for your saucepans. More storage under there, yeah. A bit of pipe work, but that's not usually a problem, is it? Now you step up a little bit into the well, lounge, don't nice, we? like you do in the cab. Yeah. Okay. Nice lighting. Some, uh... I, I, I'm sold on these headrests. Now you like the corner oh, headrests? Shut the door for a second. Oh, okay. Oh, that's... Thank you. Thank you. You're getting too comfortable, aren't you? Yeah, I said to don't want to put my feet up. <laughs> so no, it goes too I could, I could put them on my book. So those benches, are they going to be long enough to sleep on, do you Don't think, Sue? So? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got your feet on your book. With the, head. With, with the cushions away at the back, you, go you've got room there, haven't you? Yeah. With the back cushions taken yeah. away. Look. So you could, yeah, single beds then, right? And then yeah. uh, the same this side. It's just roughly the same. It is exactly the same length on this side as yeah. well, isn't it? So that's going to be fine. Magazine rack and the USB uh, charger. Yep. Yeah. USB. Here. And there as well. Shelves. Plenty of plenty of those. Okay. With loudspeakers in the Storage. back for your audio. This one is a lift up one. Mm. Right. I've okay. got the storage underneath. Yeah, that lifts up. Yeah. I'm not going to lift it up, but it does. Right. So you've got storage that, under there. That the pulls out, watch. doesn't it? That to, to make and a double bed if you want to. Water tank under there, yeah. Yeah. And then this pulls out, doesn't it? This comes this way. Yeah. Flats. Okay. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. I see. That's how you make your double bed up as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then you've got the drop down. Storage under there. Storage under there. Gosh, that's deep, isn't it? That's deep. Isn't Love that? the colour. Yeah. You. The uh, curtains and uh, cushions and so on all match in with well. the same colour scheme, don't they? So you've got a storage underneath both, haven't you? And a uh, nice okay. skylight. Big cupboards, aren't they? What about the blinds? What are the blinds like, Sue? They're the same as ours. The same as our current ones. That way. Really I nice see. blinds. Yeah, lovely blinds, because you can, you can have half and half, can't you? And I like this little storage area as well. Another little storage area here. They've got lots of little nooks where you can store little things. Yeah. And presumably that like would be your TV the point there, wouldn't and it? And above the door. And then this. Oh my word. Big cupboard. Yeah. They've all got shelves in. Yeah. Bailey are known for these big, large locker doors and uh, revealing lots and lots of shelving. And they're fixed. Pretty yep. well fixed that one. Good, nice Pretty solid fixed. shelves. Yep. Has your uh, charge controller for your solar that's on the roof. And uh, Sheila was trying to show me something over here just now. It's a nice door. 
Just some nice features. You've got yeah. lights on that step. And on the door yeah, floor lighting and on the door rail which is always handy when you're coming in at late at night and you need to mind the step very good and there's a w nice window in the door with a bin yep. so there's USB in the little cubby hole up there where you can put your charger for your camera or your phone unusual catches aren't they so this is yep. the storage above for the kitchen yep. and there's something that clips on here that's this that clips up on there. That's look. right, yep, stop it falling down, yep. I love that, because it's a brilliant idea, isn't it? Yeah, great. And Sue's just pointed out that we can get two large gas bottles in there, making it a good all year round motorhome. And uh, we're checking out the uh, garage space. Well, crikey. You could have your little folding bicycles are definitely, there, <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah. uh, could definitely go in there, sir. Could definitely. Can you put an order? <laughs> That's lovely. Yes, please. <laughs> That's our, our downsize. Yeah. Not a lot. So we could food, definitely get our folding lovely. bicycles in there, couldn't yeah, we? Yeah, I love it. And have it, have it ready. Uh, have it ready next year. Yeah. Moving around the back. Yeah. Can't believe that. Yeah. Yes, lovely. <laughs> That's really nice. This is the other side. And Sue's just uh, showing us the good garage good. from the other there. side. Yeah. We could yeah. definitely put our fold-up bikes in there, couldn't that we? Is, that is a winner. That's bikes a real great good. space there. there. Yeah. Your motorhome yeah. <laughs> Very good. That's your toilet there or not? Yeah. So your, um, your toilet locker is here. Oh, sorry. Uh, from Jim. The flush would be from the main tank. Um, that's for filling your fresh water. Oh, you can fill it up with the, yeah. with the pump. That's right. Yeah, so there's a whale um, point there, and that's where you put your um, your mains electric connector. It's lovely, isn't it? Sue's so in love. Yeah, I'm definitely in love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sold. In August 2019, we were a busy year in 2019, we were lucky enough again to go to Simpsons of Great Yarmouth at their open day and um, I particularly liked the auto sleeper uh, which had a Mercedes engine um, it was really lovely I really liked the long benches and the openness of it I felt like I'd have, I would have a party in it this time we've got a uh, auto sleeper Borton this is on a Mercedes chassis Marked up at £75,000 with a £3,000 off sticker on the front. Um, looking at a much shorter van, this one looks like about a 6 metre van. And uh, auto sleeper Borton. Let's have a look inside. Rear kitchen to start with. Single beds to sleep on. You could use them as single beds, that's for sure. Yeah. You could easily fit yeah. eight people in here, ten with these two seats, couldn't you? Yep, now I'm assuming those seats swivel round, so as you say, you could probably sit eight or ten like and have a party. And this looks like the all new Mercedes Dash. Quite impressive, I like that. Mm, look at that. Nice style, and Sue's saying there's no gear stick, a traditional gear stick, it looks like they're flappy paddles, as our top gear friends call them. Um, little flaps underneath the up and down here and here. Look, we've got a bit of storage above, haven't you? And those little cubby holes. Yep, we've got a bit of open storage at the top here. Not for when you're driving along there, so. Up, a wind up. Yep, wind up. We've got roof here with the wind up handle. It's in the it's a little what, bit smaller than our roof what light, is but. That? Is that Nice light cupboards. I quite like the light uh, what is that? Is that cupboards. That's an air conditioning unit. Yeah, it's a Truma air conditioning unit. That, which is really good if you want to go to France or anywhere in the summer. That's a must-have, really. Lovely big windows, Sue. Aren't they? I mean, yeah. both sides. You've got really good-sized windows, and they're the lovely nice neat cassette blinds. Sue's just demonstrating that out of shot. Can you do that again for me, babes? Yeah, look at that. I mean, that is, and the and the fly screen comes down from the top, doesn't it? Yeah. There we go. So you've got the best of both worlds. You can do half and half if you want. They are lovely big windows, aren't they? What are the um, lockers like over the top? Let's have a quick uh, look. See how deep they are. Yeah, they're quite deep. Yeah. 
They're deep, aren't they? Oh, they are, aren't they? You get a lot in there. No shelf in that one, but then it's not that tall, is it? That There's a shelf in that one. Substantial. That's shelf handy for too, putting your, your socks on. It's quite substantial. Or whatever. And that one hasn't got a shelf, so that's good. Good mix. Right. Okay, we'll come down to the oh, magazine rack. rack. Yeah, yeah. Now one would assume your TV point would be over here because we've got all the plugs and sockets and things associated with that. And this that. as well, look like, and, and that lifts up as well. Plenty of slide out, That's yeah, right. workspace, with Shall the flap as well here. here. Yeah. This is a very nice van, I like this one. Being a shorter van, Mercedes and all of that, yeah. Decent sized fridge. What we got on the? This one's for you. Ooh. It's got your plate rack in. Oh yeah, 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 and bottle rack. Yeah. And you've got all the cupboards above, and then you've got the wardrobe. Yeah. Nice table stored nice in there. The little, you've got the little carpet's table. Carpet's a nice colour. Yeah, sort of a that goes badge over of green. Where does that slot in? You've got a little round table, have you? Yeah, look. Oh yeah. There's slots in there, there's a thing for it there. Oh yeah, you've got a little uh, occasional well, table that fits into a bracket got, there. You've got, you've got the little table. In the lounge, so that will swing round here, presumably for your four seats. And then your freestand and bigger table. Freestand and bigger table, yep. And the little one, have you sent Yep, yep, little table. And your and carpet's stored in there at the moment. So that's that's hanging space, wardrobe, isn't it? Yeah. With a drawer below, yep. Plenty of um, storage just there. Now, the moment of truth, the bathroom, nice cupboard. Nice or cupboard. the washroom, Look. yep, so you've got a little vanity unit there, and a little... now this is the uh, the infamous swing door, the swing wall, isn't it? Yeah. Um, do you want to give it, a, give it a tug and show how that works? It's a swing wall, so you jump in the shower, as you do, and then you give that a pull, uh, it's on gas struts so that swings closed like so and then the other door comes from the other way doesn't it Sue? Oh, yeah. there we go and that closes the shower so you're, you're, well, you're that's, that's quite a good size here we go so you can do your funky chicken in there can you babes? yes enough space jolly good yeah happy with that yeah, so you're going to push that back. Now that's gone gas struts and that does stay there. Oh, squeaky squeaky. It does stay there when you're driving along. It doesn't swing Probably open, does it? Because that's on the proper gas struts there at the top. There as well. Yeah. As well as here. It's a nice cupboard. Yeah. You can fit enough. Yeah. And then you've got a nice long uh, mirror this side. And then your loo. So essentially it's a wet room but because of the swing wall you can keep your shower separate there can't yeah, you which is good we like that yeah and a you know, nicely tucked away in the corner of the van out the way kitchen then you've got the three Ooh, gas. Look at that. Really three nice gas swish. one electric yeah uh, Thetford, um hob there with and you've got a grill, grill separate oven. to the oven and, and then storage underneath, underneath your pans. Extractor, extractor fan. fan there, which is a bit right. There we are. Cupboard there. And then a cupboard fan. above. Yep. Nice Sorry about the sunshine. It's really another quite deep, right deep cupboard. Yeah. Nice, nice deep cupboard. Got a little skylight. Skylight above. The um, control panel here above the door. Kitchen roll. And a kitchen roll holder. <laughs> Thought of everything, didn't they? Storage. It's not bad little workspace there, really, sir. Got the glass. Um, yeah. And then you've got a slot in drainer. You've got a slot in drainer, yeah, which you've got on the glass front there. It's which in is there, wrapped got... up, yeah. So that yeah. goes in we've there. We've had that before. That we've, had that. we've got on well with that, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did get on well with that. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got. And I like this uh, nice Perspex sort of white, clean, um, shiny back. You've got a little oh. drop down. You put a few bits under there. Underneath the sink, there's a little bit of storage. Like the and there's drawers. What are these? And then you've got oh. a cutlery drawer. Cutlery drawer, yeah. And then three other drawers, it looks like to me. Covered now that, that's quite deep. Oh, there's a safe under there. Don't oh, tell anyone. A safe as well. Yeah, don't tell anyone, there's Crikey. a safe under there that's with good. a key. Oh, very good. And then, uh, and then you've just got more, more drawers, drawers, which, I mean, that is... I really like this. Yeah. At home, yeah. it's lovely. I, I think this is um, 
the downsized motor home of the future, don't you? Yeah, it's really nice. And then here you've got storage. You put stuff in here. Oh yeah. Dog leads. Yeah. yeah. And stuff, can't you? He has quite a useful storage space there, yeah. And then you've got your... So, on the face of it, you know, it's a roomy van. You've got your insect. Oh, and you've got a fly screen on the door, finally. Yeah. Very good. So, very spacious van. Did I mention the microwave? Not sure if I did. And the auto sleeper glasses. I don't really like this. Yeah, got it right again, haven't they? Oh. Very good. So I was just saying that they've got a 13 amp socket here on a sliding door and uh, your barbecue point, which is quite good, outside storage as well. Lovely looking van, isn't it, Sue? It's lovely, I love all that lounge space. Yeah. I know you've got to make the bed. We'll put that one on our shopping list then. So in January 2020, we went to Peterborough in the January sales, um, which was a much smaller affair, but we really enjoyed it. And we headed for the IH camper van, which I fell in love with. Well, I just love IH vans anyway. We've sort of fallen in love with IH, 71,500. I think there's a deal to be done on this van. Um, on a Fiat Ducato and it's a 630 FL and this model has got a nice uh, uh, luggage compartment in the back here um, with a rear washroom so uh, oh that's handy yeah I think that's handy yeah so you haven't got the barn doors on this well, model the dogs escape, <laughs> that's right and a big sliding door very smart looking uh, camper van this one. Yeah. yeah, it's nice and light and airy again, isn't it? Lots of space here with a big sliding door. Two swivelly seats. This would make into a double bed, Sue, so wouldn't it? Yeah, you've got storage space yeah. The usual IH quality of uh, lockers. Fantastic. I mean, that is, that is absolutely brilliant. You're going to have to, I can't do it one handed, you're going to have to shut that locker for me babe. Yeah, yeah. with a fit and fill cushion. Can you shut that locker for me babe? Yeah, and this one, that's one. Yeah. That's one continuous locker. Yeah, that follows through. Yeah. Yeah, the INET air heating. Oh, that's why I couldn't close it. <laughs> Coming through into the galley, there's a little... Uh, there's a table, in, there. table in there for putting up and then there's a little flappy table here which you can put up uh, TV is under here nice opening windows just to the right here now we're coming to the galley we've got a uh, nice sink and a uh, four burner hob with electric and gas um, usual storage under no oven in this one babe are well, you going to show me the oven? Yeah. Oh, it's right round here. Look, <laughs> I like that. That's a nice height. That's isn't in it? a good height, and you could yeah. you could use um, that for. You don't need a microwave, do you? Space. No. This is a fridge. Normal no, no size microwave. fridge with a freezer compartment yeah. in. That's adequate for really. you. Yeah. yeah. The storage up here. Okay. It's quite deep. You can get your pots and pans. Yeah. Lightweight things up there. We're yeah. going to have a squint in the washroom because I it's think this this size. is rather smart in here. Well, it's a wet room, nice yeah, bright, yeah, and it's narrower because I think there might be a giant wardrobe in oh, here. Space. Yeah, that's taken up whole of the corner of the van up here. Yeah. Um, very stylish little washroom though, um, with more storage this side. Oh, it's deep, aren't they? They are deep. deep. Yeah. Yeah, you could almost get your bedding in there. Couldn't you? Um, very nice indeed. Another IH camper van here, another. This one's 68,500 in white. And Sue quite likes this one, don't you, babe? Yeah, it's very nice. Mm. So we've got uh, 
That's a nice upholstery again. That reminds yeah. me of the Canals one we looked at earlier. Yeah. Um, quite a nice finish. Really. Got storage over. here again. Yeah, over cab storage. There you go. Quite Press. Yeah. There you go. Nice big locker. You've got your fridge up this end. Fridge so you handle. Have your beers while you're sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> You've got outside table and a lift up flat. Okay. Here. And you've got your cupboards underneath. Or drawer. That's a big drawer. It is. There's a couple in there and that's soft clothes. Lovely soft clothes, yeah. That's a big drawer as well. Quite a substantial drawer. Yeah. Got heavy things in. Soft clothes. The quality of the, the, and the weight of that drawer was quite impressive actually. You've got the same, you've got the three gas and one electric. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your top oven, your grill and bottom oven. And then you've got your storage underneath. Your yep. pots and pans, that's good. And then here is the washroom. Wet room. Which is the same as the previous one with a lift up sink. Drop down sink, a bit dark. But, you've got your uh, table stored there. Yep. Yeah, but you've got that light panel above, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Plenty of lighting. Oh, oh, look at that. Word. You ain't going to be in the dark with that <laughs> on, are you? <laughs> well, we'll start again. Here's a washroom. <laughs> we just looked at it in the dark. Um, drop down sink. Nice little cupboard with There's a mirror an extra on. There's light there with a the switch. Look. Yep. On top. This one here. Yep. Good that one on. Oh, it's a little fan. Oh, a little fan. Oh, that's yep. good. You oh, hear that good. little fan? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So I that's like. nice. Yeah, very nice. And look at this lovely we have said about these camper vans yeah, uh, in IH. I, I mean, like this. they are really lovely. And the guy, we just talked to the guy, and he said that you tell us what you want, we'll build it. But of course, everything has a price, doesn't it? You just pull this. It's so easy, isn't it? You just yeah. pull this in and make yeah. that into a double bed. Yeah, it's a huge bed. All these windows, yeah, there's something about the uh, lounge that you're sitting in there with a, with the sort of panoramic views from the back of the van. And a big skylight. Skylight. Yeah. With them. lights are running on the ceiling. Look at the magazine rack. Yep. Magazine rack. You so where's your TV? All the way around. Not that I watch it. Is it in here? Oh, there we are. There's your yeah. TV and a nice little cupboard look. Yeah. Locked it's locked away. away, yes, quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, great Lo loads of storage. Yeah. And you're not cramped in this little van, are you? And it's, uh, it goes right the way through. Just one long cupboard. Yeah. Very nice. Gonna have a little look outside yeah. while Sue's uh, opening and shutting cupboard doors. Have a little look around the back of the van here. The 600 RL, and uh, this is a brand new model again. Lots, nice lot of storage in here. It goes right the way through. There you go. Very nice. Do you like it enough to buy it? I do like it. Yeah. Yeah, we I quite have like it. Money. Well, that's a that's a thing. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that and just looking back at these lovely motorhomes. Um, and one day we'll be able to do it again. Um, I've I've been very good. I haven't spoken too much because I could ramble on for ages. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you again. Bye.